two super bug eyes from bugeyeguy.com. We've got Iris, a 1960 bug eye, totally stock. And Bugzilla, 1958 bug eye, totally modified and custom. Both of these cars, super high end restorations, about the nicest bug eyes we've seen, and they couldn't be more different from one another. A couple of things that we can point out right away is on the stock bug eye, you'll see in a second, this was not the greatest joint. Over here, we've got a beautiful fared in custom fit. Also, we've got powder coated black headlight rings. Take a look at the stock version. This was a $1,795 sports car, so they didn't spend a whole lot of time fairing those in, and that's the way they looked in their best of shape. Here's the chrome. They're, they're fine, but again, it's not the high-end precision fit that you see over there on bugs. Also, this seat connects the valence panel to the nose. All bug eyes have that, and it sometimes can be a rust area. Take a look at the way they handled it on bugs. Filled it in. And these filled in areas are generally suspect on restorations, but not when they're high end like this. This is just a fantastic job. You can see the metallic fleck in the paint. A very high end paint job. Over here on Iris also, we've got beautiful restoration of the beading and all kinds of correct features that you often don't see on bug eyes even when they've been restored for big money. This one has all the correct gauges and the correct steering wheel, this beautiful contrasting piping, the right matting and trimming all in the back here. I love those iris pipes on the seat. And then over here on bugs we've got this amazing custom leather interior. Hand dyed contrasting burgundy piping. This is one of a kind interior. Leather trim here on the carpet, wool carpet, five-speed conversion, aftermarket steering wheel, a painted dashboard, more powder coating all along here. This would be the standard trim the way it was new, this vinyl covering to match the blue dash, and then aluminum on the combing all around the car. And over here on Bugs, you'll see that they, they really gave themselves permission to go far out. You see this black powder coated trim, really a nice touch. You can also see kind of the aggressive stance that you get with these wider tires. And over here on Bugs, it's a little more petite. These are the correct and stock rear bumpers. Custom mirror on the door that actually was very well executed. And a flip forward nose. Over here on Bugs, we have the original bumper. We have the, the hood hinging at the back the way it was when it was new. And everything else correct. Two beautiful, uh, two beautiful cars at bugeyeguy.com.